Yeah. Me and a colleague, we were on site doing some government work, so we, we couldn't get out to the internet. We had a lot of a lot of hosts that we needed to sort of extract information from. We were very conscious that these were sensitive hosts, so we didn't want to you know drop anything and you know do anything silly. So we created some Python scripts. They're very lightweight on purpose, you know, purposefully lightweight. Okay. And then you know we would we would use that set of tooling then to to grab all the hashes and to crack them and all those types of things. So we would use that as the basis. That was the idea. And then from that, then we decided to create a tool that was again very lightweight, um, wouldn't be you know too heavy in terms of its processing power and not make too much mess on a computer. When you're sort of dealing with threats, the really really good threat actors, you don't know they're there. You don't know they've even been there. So we're trying to mimic that. Uh, making sure that files are not removed or not touched too heavily. So, so that was the sort of the genesis of the idea, and it was just you know, we we built it, um, and then we just sort of kept adding to it. Then some people we put on the Git repository internally in the organization, kept adding to it, um, and it was it was a great project. We won Tool of the Year, um, ah, yeah, which, okay. which is great. So I had a free iPad, yeah. which the kids could use. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> now. Uh... How long did it take? Was it sort of a gradual process? You put it on the Git, and then were you still sort of tinkering with it beyond that? Oh, c continuously tinkering with it. You know, continuously as, tinkering as okay. tools and techniques change and develop. You know, we would always we'd add a new feature, or we'd even remove a feature if it was too heavy and too cumbersome. Always, you know, event logs were getting flashed or or something like mm -hmm. that. So we'd always be tinkering with it and trying to make it as as lightweight and useful as possible. Um, now, it, it doesn't get used anymore. I don't think anybody's looking after okay. the repo anymore, which is a shame because I put a lot yeah. of effort into it. But at a certain point in time, it was a big project for, for me and my team.